Hi everyone, it's Tammy from NutmegNotebook.com. I have a healthy living lifestyle blog where I share about eating a whole food plant-based diet. So please check that out. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my chopped salad. In another YouTube video, I did um, my big beautiful salad. And since then, I have started making those in bulk. So I will make up four to six to eight sometimes of these salads and put them in the fridge so that my husband Tom and I can just grab one from the fridge when it's lunchtime and um, it's easy peasy, which we really like. So uh, since I made that video, we have also learned how to make chopped salads. And um, my mentor, Chef AJ, I'm a participant of Chef AJ's Ultimate Weight Loss Plan and she makes a chopped salad and she showed how to do it in one of her cooking videos and I ordered myself a beautiful wood bowl. I'll link to this so my husband will do a video about the proper uh, care and how to wash a wooden bowl like this. And then I also purchased what is called an ulu knife and these are made in Alaska and they, you see how it has that beautiful curved shape and it works wonderful in this bowl. And you need a bowl like this that's deep, that can hold a lot of vegetables. Um, and also it has to have the right curvature on it for this to work. So the bowl works like a wooden uh, cutting board and the ulu is very sharp and makes quick, easy work of chopping a salad. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So this is a Ziploc container. I buy these at Target. It holds uh, just over a pound, maybe about 19 ounces or so of salad. I, I do weigh them sometimes just, you know, to try to make everything even. And the salads last a good three, four days in the refrigerator. This is what it looks like. Now, if you don't want your tomatoes chopped up, if you want to have those be left whole, sometimes Tom takes his out and doesn't chop them in the um, wooden bowl. I like mine to be chopped. There's also a little bit of apple in this mixture, as well as some little mandarin oranges. And that adds a little bit of sweetness and it also adds moisture along with the tomatoes to the salad. And you see there's red cabbage and carrots and uh, red onion and baby kale and romaine and baby spinach and um, red pepper and little pea pods and it's delicious. So whatever vegetables you like. So all I do is throw them all in the bowl and then I start chopping. And you wanna keep your fingers away from the edge of the bowl where the knife is because it is very sharp. It does make a lot of noise. And I just keep chopping until it's to the desired size that I like. And there's something about everything being chopped smaller. It makes the salad so much sweeter. And we really like them. And, and not that we don't enjoy our salads just as it was, but this just makes it taste even better. It's pretty amazing what a difference it makes to chop the salad. And some of it flies out. That's okay. You just pick it up and throw it back in the bowl when you're done. So I'm just chopping. Can you see how it's starting to get chopped up? And I just keep moving the lettuce around and the greens and the tomatoes so I can chop them up. Every once in a while I'll get to the end and find still a chunk that I somehow missed. But it makes it really delicious. So it's it's fun to serve this when you have company as well. You can go ahead before they arrive and chop up uh, two or three bowls of greens and vegetables. I like red cabbage in it too. That's awfully delicious. So whatever you like. We're starting to get there. Okay. Got to remember to get my thumb out of the way. It's getting a little close there. So far, I have not cut myself with this. I think that would not feel good. So anyway, I'll also link to um, the, I'll provide an Amazon link 
to the ulu knife as well. It's also wonderful for chopping fresh herbs. So you can just put your fresh herbs in the bottom of this bowl and the ulu is nice and sharp. It doesn't bruise them badly like, you know, a, a non-sharp knife will. Okay, so this is pretty good for me. Let me show you. And I don't like to waste any of the goodness on there. So there we have it. There's the chopped salad. Beautiful. Now you can put dressing on this if you want to. Sometimes we do. I have a wonderful creamy balsamic uh, vinegar dressing that's on my blog that's super popular with plant-based eaters and non-plant-based eaters, I might add. And so you could dress it with that if you want. Now we use this as our main meal for lunch most days. And so we add some things to it. So I really like the nutty flavor and texture of wild rice. So I like to add a few spoonfuls of that to the greens. And you know, add as much as you want. It has a wonderful texture. I usually make a great big pot of that in my pressure cooker and then divide it up into four cup servings into um, some uh, Rubbermaid or Gladware plastic containers that have lids and then I'll put those in the freezer and I can just pull out a container at a time. So this is a two quart Corel bowl. I bought these, I bought a couple of them off of Amazon and I bought a couple at Walmart and they were actually cheaper on Amazon with prime free shipping. And they're two quarts so they're nice and big and they hold this whole salad. So then what I do is I just put it in here. And this does take a long time to eat. It is a lot of greens, but it's so nutritious. And when you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, you're really giving your body all the nutrients that it wants. And it's very satisfying. This also has a lot of water in it, a lot of fiber, so super healthy. Okay, so at this point, I usually add some balsamic vinegar, and I really like this Napa Valley Naturals uh, Grand Reserve. It's 4% acidity, and it's very thick and syrupy and kind of sweet. So um, even people who don't care for balsamic vinegar, oftentimes they will like this one because it's, um, it's not astringent. Not, so if you're a vinegar lover, I know that you will like it. So I'd like to put this on, do a fair amount, and gotta grab my spatula, sorry. Kind of stir that in. It just adds a really nice flavor. But you know, if we're traveling or like this weekend, we were at a, a two day workshop and we took salads with us and uh, we didn't put any vinegar on them or no dressing, and they were perfectly fine with just all the toppings that we like to use. Okay, so this would be good in and of itself like this, but I like to kind of dress it up a little bit more. So I have some quinoa, and I make this ahead in my uh, pressure cooker, my Instant Pot, and that way we have it in the fridge and we can do all kinds of things with it. You know, we can add beans and salsa and corn, and turn it into a nice little Mexican dish if we want. We can add it to greens and beans. Let's see, I've got a little bit of corn here that I cooked in my Breville air fryer, which I love. If you don't have an air fryer or thinking of getting one, check out my video for the Breville because we love it. And everyone that I've talked to that's bought it has thought it's been a wonderful thing to have in their kitchen. You can do so much with it, corn on the cob is so great in it. Adds a lot of flavor. Okay. I have some Brussels sprouts. I also cooked these in the Breville. And you know, I like food to be pretty when I eat it. So, they say we eat with our eyes first. So if it looks pretty before you start eating it, your mouth is already watering and thinking, oh wow, this is gonna be so great. So the Brussels sprouts, I don't do anything with them. 
I just go ahead and put them in the um, Breville plain, but you can certainly add balsamic vinegar or mustard or a combination of both. This is some kabocha squash that I oven roasted and the skin gets all nice and soft and you can actually eat the skin. This is an organic one and I just scrub it really well before I cook it and I roast it at 400 degrees for 35 minutes and it gets kind of caramelized and it's so delicious. And then these are love beets. These are pre-cooked. They come from, I get them at Costco, but I know that some grocery stores also have them. Um, I've seen them at Whole Foods. Of course, they're cheaper if you buy them at Costco. And I love cooked beets. And they have a pretty long refrigerator life. There's nothing added to them, but they're pre-cooked and they come whole and you just slice them. And then I do have some grapes. I have to add a few little grapes here. I like a little bit of fruit with my salad that it just adds moisture and a little bit of sweetness, which is really nice. Okay, there you have it. This is one of my chopped salads that I like to eat for lunch. I have this, Tom and I both have this, almost every day for lunch. And I vary what I put on top of it, just depends on what I have cooked in the fridge. Sweet potatoes are lovely, Japanese sweet potatoes, a chopped Yukon gold. I mean, you know, whatever you like. You don't have to make it exactly like mine. You can do whatever suits your taste. And that is a chopped salad. So see the link below for the bowl and the ulu knife and the vinegar. Thanks a lot, you guys. See you next time. Bye.